Hey beautiful beaters, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and I'm back today with a super simple, quick and easy earring tutorial for you today. This video is brought to you by BBCraft.com. They do not sponsor my videos, however, they do send me some products each month to share with you guys and also show you a project with their materials in use. So as you can see, I have these cute little earrings right here and I'm going to show you how to make these today. They're so easy. This isn't an original design by any means. This is a technique that has been used by many people. It is a great project for newer beaters. If you are starting to try to learn the ins and outs of different findings, this is a great project for you. So the two products that I am sharing with you today that are from bbcraft.com is number one, this set of knot covers or what they call bead tips on their website. These are eight by four millimeter. And I will leave all the product links down below in the description section if you're interested. So these are only a little over $4 for this entire set, which is great. There's all different mixed uh, colors in here, which is nice. And then this grouping of tiger tail, which is beading wire, it was from bbcraft.com as well from a prior month and it was just over $4 as well. I think around $4.69 or something like that for this entire set of different colored tiger tail. So I wanted to come up with a project that used at least one of the things that I'd gotten in the month of February, which was these. I will also link that BB Craft haul up above in case you missed that video from earlier this month and you wanted to see what I got. But I also thought it would be great to feature another one of their products, namely the tiger tail in these different colors because it could be a challenge for some people to figure out what to do with the colorful tiger tail besides just stringing a necklace or a bracelet. I really wanted to show off the colors of it, so I thought this would be kind of a cool project to do. So things you'll need for this project obviously are any kind of beading wire. This is just a coated beading wire and you can find this at your local craft store. You can find this at various online retailers. You don't have to have a certain size or gauge or anything like that, but what I'm using today is is the 0.45 millimeter diameter tiger tail. And for the earrings that you saw below, I did cut about three and a half inches. So I did two strips cut at three and a half inches in order to make the size loop that you see here. So two strips of beading wire, about three and a half inches. The beads that you wanna use, I ended up using about five beads on this one. These are just some Czech glass beads that I had gotten in a recent subscription box and I thought they were really cute with that purple tiger tail. We're going to be making these earrings today. So I already made one and we're gonna make the other one together. So you will need two ear wires of your choice. I'm just using some basic fish hook ear wires. You'll also need two of these bead crimps. These are a two millimeter bead crimp in a gold tone. I'm also using crimping pliers right here and I will leave a link to these down below for the same type that you can purchase if you don't have them already. If you don't have special crimping pliers, you can use regular pliers because you're not going to actually see the crimp bead. They're going to be covered by these knot covers. So you will need two of these as well for your pair of earrings. So besides that, just choosing the color beading wire or tiger tail that you want to use as well as the beads you want to use. That's what you'll need for this project. So all that information aside, let's get started. This is going to be super simple. So one other thing that's optional is this little clip right here. I did get a pack of these from the Dollar Tree. I think it was like a six pack or something like that. But uh, I like to use these just to hold on to one end of my beading wire. That way my beads don't go slipping off. I also want to point out that this is a great project for using up little bits and pieces of beading wire so that it doesn't go to waste. I love finding projects that use materials that you might ordinarily throw away and think wasn't enough to do anything with. So all we're doing is we're stringing on our beads just how we want them to look on our earrings. So I'm just stringing them on in the same exact sequence of the finished earring you see right over here. By the way, these 
gemstone beads are called Unikite, and they were from the beadboxbargains.com website. I also like shopping with them for beads, in case you're curious. And these are just some faceted rondelles, and I thought they looked really nice with this reddish toned beading wire. All right, so as you can see, our beads are strung on. I'm just going to pop it off this little clamp and we're going to just kind of hold these two ends together. But there you go, you get the idea of the sequence of beads there, just super simple stringing. Then just match up your two ends like that and pop them through the hole of this bead tip. So with the little loop facing up here, just pop them through just like that and then kind of string the bead tip down a little bit so that it's out of the way. So you have something like this. Now you're gonna get your little crimp tube or your crimp bead and pop that on the two pieces of jewelry wire just like that. Then take your pliers or your crimping tool and as close to the end of the two pieces of wire that you can, go ahead and clamp that on. And nobody's going to see this part, so if it's not perfect, don't worry about it. But that's what you should have. You should have your little crimp tube nice and clamped down there so it's going to hold those two ends together. Now all you have to do is slide up your bead tip or knot cover and you're going to close it. So you can use your fingers, you can use your pliers to gently squeeze on it so that it closes just like that. And there you go. And all you have to do at this point is put on your ear wire depending on what kind you're using. And again, I'm just using the uh, basic fish hook. So I'm going to put that on, slide that right through the loop there that came together on that bead tip and close that back. So it is as simple as that, just another great way to use beading wire or tiger tail, specifically the different colors if you wanna show off those different colors, as well as using up small amounts of beads and another use for those bead tips or knot covers from bbcraft.com. So if you haven't checked out their site, definitely go check it out. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. I will be back very soon with more bead hauls, more tutorials, more subscription unboxings, and more finished jewelry updates. I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day, and as always, happy beading. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love for you to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my latest videos. Check out the information section under the video for links to my social media handles and other helpful info. And feel free to check out my shop at orchidandopal.com. Thanks for watching.